What's up everybody and welcome to my Friday Night Smackdown review. As again closer to Money in the Bank, uh, John Cena came out talking about the Money in the Bank match. I uh, pretty much told almost like a history of the title, well not a whole history, but when he lost the title and out his whole thing went up with Daniel Bryan and Randy Orton, all the way up to Bryan pretty much his title's injury and Batista. And he talked about so now everybody's in this match and John Cena kept telling bad jokes and saying that the champ's here because he is in Money in the Bank. Alberto the Real says you're not dangerous enough to be in there then because he's the first person to qualify in the Money in the Bank. So he'd be the first one to win. Then Sheamus came out saying you're going to be going to need airport security because if you're not going to win a title then Paul Heyman came out and Cesaro saying that cause, cause he has a, since uh, Cesaro has a strategist on his side and pretty much he has a strategy even the same strategy he says that helped Brock Lesnar beat the Undertaker streak Roman Reigns came out there and saying he can't really trust anybody today after what Seth Rollins said and all that really matters now is getting that title he'll take down anybody that gets in his way and got in Cena's face then and stood him down or stared him down Orton came out saying I see you get the point now but you can't trust anybody's coming because it was an all time high and Orton was the champion and he's going to win that title again and money in the bank and then Reigns and Orton brought with each other then everybody else brought with each other and the ring in Kofi Kingston went against Seth Rollins in some new ring gear that looked like it was the same shield gears first, but it made his clothes look really tight. Almost like I wanted a Marvel superhero Wolverine. I thought he was coming. I didn't know what kind of gear was that. He went against Kofi. He beat Kofi, and then pretty much talked about Dean Ambrose. That and I meant to also say there's another Money in the Bank match. They will be doing a traditional contract Money in the Bank match. Seth Rollins is the first person, and I guess they'll announce the rest of everybody on Monday. And he saves some money in the bank, and he talked to, and um, Dean Ambrose showed up on screen saying that he's coming for Rollins after he's done with Kane, and now he's coming for him. And you, you're going to lose and stuff. So they pretty much had a back and forth thing on the mic. Dean Ambrose is crazy on the mic, y'all. Dolph Ziggler won against Barrett. Ziggler won. He pretty much celebrated, and then right after the Barrett pretty much bull hammered him to the ground, man. Titus O'Neil against Adam Rose. Adam Rose beaten two times, which was ridiculous, and I don't really care. It just looks stupid doing this match two times. Can't win against Dean Ambrose since Dean Ambrose has a new theme song, and I guess he now wrestles with a leather jacket, of sleeveless shirt, and blue jeans. I guess that's his new gear. They pretty much him and Kane went against each other. He tagged Rollins then. Rollins pretty much threw him back in the ring. Kane choke slammed him, picking up the win over Ambrose, and then. Rollins did the curb stomp on him. Zep Coulter cut a promo talking about Rusev and Biggie and pretty much Lana getting involved and in what's going on right here. Saying he's a little American. Pretty much Biggie went against Swagger. Biggie, Biggie pretty much squashed Jack Swagger in seconds and destroyed him. Fandango was not going to lay this saying she's ready to come out yet. Summer Ray pretty much talking about she was sorry for being possessive and says she can't well he like she doesn't pretty much made out with Fandango as Layla watched it and went back in the locker room and which doesn't make sense who cares about this whole Divas thing well Dallas then went against Fandango which for the match could even start um, Summer Rae and Layla pretty much brought with each other inside the ring then Layla accidentally kicked Fandango so I don't think anybody cared about the women beating the hell out of each other and then both Dallas helped Fandango pretty much put him into the Bulldog then and pretty much just and then go there's a lot of fish in the sea but all you gotta do is bow lead and pretty much he's eight and bow now I don't know why they did this match I don't even think Bo Dash is getting over that much I don't know I'm seeing signs but he wasn't really over on Monday the past two weeks now I can't see him punk one night the Wyatt's cut a promo Bray Wyatt talking about talking about what's gonna happen when the, the nature what's gonna happen when the snake enters the pit, huh? The snake is gonna the snake's gonna enter the pit and everything, how they're coming after uh pretty much say what's gonna happen it's like putting rats in a cage in a maze and you're sitting in a snake with just jagged teeth. 
All these childish games gonna start stop once he just climbs up that ladder and takes what is his, and now he will have the whole world in, in his hands. Then the white era will begin. Run. Four on three match: Bray Wyatt, Alberto Del Rio, and or Randy Orton, Cesaro going against Roman Reigns, John Cena, and Sheamus. Pretty much a good match to end the show. Pretty much waiting for Reigns, pretty much saving him for last, getting the tag, pretty much destroying everybody in the ring, hitting the spear on our battle the real winning the match, coming to Money in the Bank, I believe it's next week, so watch out for that. And um, I don't know who else is going to be in a, another Money in the Bank contract match, so we'll just have to see once for the title, once for the contract. So we'll see what happens Monday and see who else is in this one. You know, it's me, it's me, it's D, coming to the news and reviews, you know, I don't even know what I do. Watch the flow, here it goes, going down, it's SmackDown, I'm out of here. And check out many more reviews and live reactions coming. Out of here. Peace.